Hey everyone, how you doing? Affinescence, vanilla, benzoin. Never tell if this focus is in or not. I'm Brandon, Therapeutic Fragrance. Glad you clicked on the video. Uh, if you watched the other fragrance, the boys, I have a superstar one, not so good one. This one will be better. You, you guys that are friends in the house, it's a great house. Um, going through it. I'm just giving honest, raw opinions. Today, we're going to do the Santal, their version of a sandalwood patchouli. We're going to do Santal Complete from Fragrance Dubois. Glad you're here. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, Santal Complete by Fragrance Dubois. $245.50 ml Eau de Parfum, launched in 2016. I'll go 60 feminine, 40 masculine on this one, built as an Oriental, Oriental Vanilla. 4.64 out of 5 on Fragranica. Notes include lemon, coconut, violet, Black pepper, musk, sandalwood, of course, amber and vanilla, basic notes, but top-notch ingredients. I don't know where the patchouli one went wrong, because good patchouli can be very good. This is my third time wearing something from the house. Uh, one super good, like I said, one not so, so I was, now I'm kind of nervous. I was really excited about the second one. Wish this would have been the second one. You put it on, it bring, brings me back to the amber one. These guys, to me, do amber like nobody else in the business. It's And, I mean, I have a lot of ambers, even naturals, that I love and adore. But as far as strength and syrupy goodness, uh, these are my favorite. <laughs> these these are up there. You can see my one of the first reviews I did on the channel. This seems like it's almost extra level right from the first spray, just a boom fragrance, a beast out of the gun. The ombre one definitely was. No real, um, uh oh, I touched my nose. I'll be smelling that for a while. No color of the juice. Just, yeah, they do amber like nobody's business. Nice sweetness. I don't know where the lemon's at in this, even from the bottle. That's why I just sniffed it. I have no clue what they're doing with the lemon on this. Uh, if it, I mean, it's the softest, softest way. Um, like if you've ever had the sweetest lemon ever with no sourness, maybe that. But what's the point of lemon at that juncture? There's a lot of other notes to use when it's that sweetened up. And it might be because of the, the amber. Um, not, 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 it's a bad thing, but for a good transition, uh, citrus would burn off. So I don't know why they wouldn't use a sharp, sharper citrus to open with. I guess it's cells at the counter. Uh, you only get that first five to 10 minutes to make that, that cell or even like two minutes. And, and a lot of people make their minds up on $250 fragrances just from a whiff. Oh yeah, honey, I want that one. Yes. Buy that one. It, the weirdest thing to me. And, and. The testers, they try to do it with me, and I'm like, straight away, I'm like, I do skin only. Well, I'm going to buy something from you. I have to wear it. And I don't go, I'm not one to go ask for samples, so I'm careful when I do that. Um, but if they come up to me and start, you know, what notes do you like? And this, and I like real oud. And then they try to tell me all their oud, and then I have to get into it with them, and I don't want to. Um, I'm like, your fragrances don't have real oud. <laughs> I like real my source sandal with. And some do, some do. Okay, we're getting off. I'm gonna digress and I'm coming back. I'm getting good at coming back. My first videos, I couldn't draw myself back as quick. The coconut provides just a milky top base that differs this from um, other amber. So coconut milk sweetened amber. This is your, um, it, yeah, coconut milk kind of uh, flavor. Not islandy, more not quite jungly, but uh, you know, not that Malibu coconut smell. Just a, a more pure milk, coconut milk. I drink lots of coconut milk. I mean, that that kind of fill to the coconut um, fill on top of this 
definitely a, a different note than Thai companies or beach companies. The coconut on this, it's the most elegant I've ever smelled coconut. It's dressed to the nines and just showing off a very luxurious coconut milk. Uh, important to put that because this plays on top of it beautifully. The heart has a pepper violet that's just soft, soft pepper. It says black pepper. I mean, it feels like almost a white pepper. I'm, I'm not picking out a, a big, heavy black pepper note on this, but uh, more of a white pepper note with the violet accord that brings in just a crisp sweetness and almost a metallic feel to it, that metallic flower. If you guys are familiar with that, that's, that's how I tried to, to describe the sharpness that Jasmine a lot brings into um, fragrances and the, kind of what I use Jasmine to try to bring into it. The violet brings in just a, not an aromatic, just that metallic uh, quick sniff. Right after the siage of this for about 90 minutes, vanilla starts to fade in, come in on that base. Everything soaks into this vanilla base and a caramel amber, pretty much what I'm knowing, getting to know fragrance the boy for is this, this lay down, this master dry down. Um, I love this dry down. They're mixing it with sandalwood now. The butteriness from the sandalwood comes on to play. This is a gourmand through and through. That's why I leaned towards feminine. This is one of the most luxurious gourmands uh, there is. Then there, Amber one, just the amber is definitely way more luxurious, but this the, with the coconut that plays into this, the violet pepper that fades into this, and then just a nice sweet dry down that's left on your skin, leaving you just this huggable, lovable mess all over your skin. And that's about a three hour dry down for me. Overall fragrance about three hours, top 15 to 20 minutes, and then a 90 minute uh, heart violet and pepper before they faded into just this sweet luxurious dry down coconut stayed the first three hours that coconut milk note stayed for that's what i have let's score sat out complete uh, addictiveness originality branding 14 out of 15 projection and sillage five out of five longevity four out of five composition as a whole 25 out of 25 for sure Ingredients and price to ML, 23 out of 25, five dollars worth it. Luxurious ingredients in this good composed fragrance, top heart and base, top 10 out of 10, heart four out of five. The base would go uh six out of ten, given this total score of 88. I'll say bottle worthy. This is bottle worthy. Uh daytime signature scent for somebody all year long. Who do I see wearing this one? Gail Simmons. How many sprays? Three to five. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the review. Peace out. You guys be blessed.